OpenAI CEO Sam Altman in a flashy sports car. This TikTok got a lot of positive feedback from students that use OpenAI's ChatGPT to get ahead. Meanwhile, schools and universities worldwide are sounding the alarm, saying we're in an AI cheating crisis. Is AI a great way to thrive while studying, or is it making us dumber? And why is it so hard for schools and universities to spot AI-generated text? Let's dive in. AI chatbots, even though they do make mistakes, can be super helpful for students. For example, as study assistants, they can break down complex topics into simpler ideas. They can summarize, give examples, and answer your questions. Bots also help with writing, brainstorming ideas, creating outlines, and even providing feedback on drafts. Many students worldwide regularly use AI tools. In the UK, 53% of undergraduates got AI to help them with assessments. The most popular tool is an AI private tutor. 36% use it to explain concepts. In India, 44% of undergraduates say they have used AI for their university tasks. Even more interesting, 60% of teachers in the country are using AI too, for everything from lesson planning to student management. So, if so many people are using it, what's the problem? It's a fine line between using AI for help or for straight up cheating and plagiarism. If you let AI complete an assignment for you, you're likely misrepresenting your own knowledge. And since AI uses existing sources, you could end up presenting someone else's ideas as your own without crediting them. Nevertheless, your text would look new and unique to most human eyes. In a UK survey, more than one in eight students admitted to having used AI to generate text for assessments in some form. But the number of cases is likely to be much higher. For universities, this is a big problem. They bear a big responsibility. We trust doctors and lawyers because of the institutions that certify them. If people cheat their way through degrees, they could become dangerous to others because of their missing knowledge. What's more, right now, AI is just remixing ideas that already exist. If we stop creating our own ideas, we stop progressing as a society. So why don't universities use software to catch AI-generated work? Spotting AI-generated text why it's difficult. Firstly, AI models are becoming more and more sophisticated, often so fast that detection tools can't keep up with them. Then, the current AI text detectors are not very accurate. They can flag things incorrectly, either missing AI-generated work or marking human-written work as AI. Non-native English speakers have a much higher risk of being flagged because their simpler grammar might resemble AI language. What's more, using AI detectors in languages other than English can be difficult. Arabic or Hindi, for example, have unique idiomatic expressions and syntactic rules. Given that many AI models are trained on English or Spanish, text detectors may not effectively understand or process these nuances. And last but not least, as many students might know, detectors are easy to bypass. Simple modifications, paraphrasing, or introducing grammatical errors, for example, can fool detection tools. But you didn't hear that from me. Because of all this, many universities are backing off from using AI detectors for now. What are we supposed to do about it? Think about the pros and cons of using AI in your studies. Which services are fair to use? Many universities are already creating AI-positive policies. At Cambridge University, it's now okay to use AI for getting an overview of new concepts, act as a coach, or help with time management. Some scholars call for exams that should be done in a way that no one can cheat using AI. And to prepare students for the working world, schools should teach generative AI, but only using limited versions. And then it's also up to us. Be honest. In which context have you used AI that you know you probably shouldn't have? Would you share that with us in the comments? Bye for now.